Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Faith Boost. We're about halfway through looking at Psalm 23. We do our Faith Boost each week and if you've missed the last few weeks, can I encourage you to look in the comments at the bottom, the description at the bottom, and you'll be able to click through and watch um, the last few weeks um, that have looked at the beginning of Psalm 23. We're going to, as I say, carry on, but I thought I'd read the whole of the psalm again this week. So I encourage you, perhaps pause this, find a Bible, perhaps after um, the faith boost, find yourself a Bible and read Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This week, in particular, we're going to look at verse 4. And as I read verse 4, my heart doesn't leap with joy. I don't suddenly think to myself, oh great. Even though I walk through the darkest valley isn't something which I would want to think about very much or consider and not something that perhaps I would choose to do. And at this time, it might be something that for you and for me feels, feels like a reality. It might feel like a dark valley at this time. Things might not be um, as we would choose them to be. The the psalm, as we know, is the Lord is my shepherd. And as we think about God being that shepherd and us being the sheep and walking through a dark valley, at times the shepherd may need to take the sheep somewhere that isn't as good, somewhere that isn't green pasture, somewhere where there aren't quiet waters, but because the shepherd needs to get to the next place. And the dark valley isn't somewhere where the, where, the, where the shepherd stays. It's not somewhere where the sheep stays. It's not like, wow, this is green pastures, quiet waters. This is somewhere to be. It talks about in the psalm that walking through the darkest valley. There's a film called Finding Nemo. You may have seen it. And in the film, there's a character called Dory, who's a blue fish with a short-term memory loss. And part of the film, um, Dory and um, the... Um, And her friend, Marlin, are looking for um, something in the dark water. And as they're searching for it, um, they suddenly think, should we stop? And Dory starts to sing. Well, perhaps more chant. But Dory starts to say these words. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Swimming, swimming, swimming. And just sings it over and over again. And, and together, they go deeper and deeper into the sea and they find what they're looking for. And, and for us, as perhaps we think about that dark valley and think about our life and trust in God, I'd encourage us to think about just keep going, to take the next step, to keep walking. That if you feel like it's a bit of a dark valley at this time, don't, don't worry about those um, surroundings. Don't Don't be naive to what's going on. It's a reality of what's happening. But don't dwell there, but just keep walking. David, who wrote this psalm, goes on to say that in that dark valley, even walking through it, that he will not fear evil. And why doesn't he fear evil? It's because God is with him. And for us, I think it's such an important thing for us to remember. That as we look around, it might feel dark, it may feel like there's evil around, stuff doesn't always feel great. And we don't need to fear. And the reason that we don't fear isn't because we can think of how the circumstances may get better or how things can be, if if we're really positive-minded, it'll be okay. But the reason we don't fear is because God is with us. Because God is always bigger, God is always more than the evil around us. God is light, and light always beats darkness. So for you, if it does feel like a dark valley, as well as just keep going, I encourage you to remember that God is with you, so you do not need to fear. 
The end of this verse talks about the, ro- um, the shepherd's rod and staff. Be Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And the rod and the staff were used by the shepherd. They were used by the shepherd to help direct the sheep which way to go. They were used to fight away evil predators. They were used um, also to count the sheep as well. The rod and staff, the shepherd is still there. The shepherd is still prepared and the shepherd is still um, ready to look after us. Maybe it does feel like a dark valley. But remember the shepherd. Remember week one, we talked about the fact the shepherd is looking for the green pastures. The shepherd knows where he's going and the shepherd is leading us to the place he wants us to go. If at this time it does feel dark, just keep going. Remember that God is with you. You do not need to fear that his rod and staff are ready to protect you, look after you and show you the way. Let's pray together. God, I pray that this week, in the midst of all the things that are going on in our lives, that we would know that you are with us. God, I pray that we would hold on to that truth. God, I pray that knowing that you are with us would help us to not fear. Amen. Excellent. Um, I pray that you do know God is with you. It's my prayer for you this week. Stay safe. God bless, and we'll see you soon.